steps. Ladies and gentlemen, your captain, Steven Gerrard. strange uh, as you say I've been I've been dreading this moment and the reason being is because I, I'm gonna miss it so much uh, I've loved every minute of it and I'm absolutely devastated I'm never gonna play in front of these supporters again so many so many fantastic moments here at Anfield if you had to pick one of those games to relive again here in this fantastic arena what would it be I think it's very difficult to pick one, but I think the very first time I ran out, thanks to this man here to me left, uh, is a moment I'll never forget. You know, the first time you ever play for Liverpool Football Club is a dream come true. Everything else after that was a bonus for me. Um, so, the very first time I played for Liverpool is an absolute dream. You've spoken this week about the, the future and obviously you're off to a fantastic adventure now that the family will enjoy, but you've spoken about the potential of coming back here one day. What about the future of this club? Are you optimistic that it's in the right place and we can move on without you? If you go on today's performance, every chance. Um, listen, the club's in good hands. We've got two fantastic owners. We've got Ian underneath that, and then we've got a fantastic manager in Brendan. And as you can see, there's, there's unbelievable potential in the squad. You know, I'm sure, I'm sure that there's going to be some, some new signings in the coming weeks, but, you know, I just look at the players in front of me you've shared the dressing room with for, for many, many years. I absolutely love them to death, and I wish them every success in the future. Just one final question to Steven Gerrard, and this is going to be the hardest of the lot, I'm sure. It's your chance to say to the Liverpool fans what you want to say at the end. Yeah, I think first and foremost, I'd like to thank everyone at the club who's helped me over the last 17 years from top to bottom. There's no order. There's too many people to name. I'd like to thank all my teammates today in the squad, even the players that never got on. All the ex-players that I've played with over the years, you know, they've made me the player I am today. But I have to save me last thank you to the, the most important people at any football club, but these supporters stand out more than any of them. I've experienced... Just before I go, before the tears come, as I say, I've, I've, I've played in front of most supporters around the world, but let me tell you, you are the best. And thank you very much. All the best.
have it. The last emotional words of Steven Gerrard to his adoring public. And now he'll take his time to walk around the ground and say goodbye to as many people as he possibly can. They want their final glimpse of their hero. Their final chance to say goodbye. And his first port of call is the cop. And no surprise there. These people love him, Jamie, don't they? And rightly so. You can hear the words he spoke then. He loves them. And that's, that's a bond that will never be broken. And that's why he's thought of so well. Not just as a local player, but also not just because if he's such a fantastic player. He's had opportunities to move on when this club's had hard times and he's stuck there. He's basically been the fan on the pitch. That's what he's been. That's everybody in Liverpool, every kid who grows up wants to be Steven Gerrard. Do you think it's started to sink in for the fans, just what they're losing here, Jamie? A little bit. You know, there's a great scene, though. I mean, even the Crystal Palace fans will stay to say goodbye as well. Um, I think it will. It's got to sink in. And it's going to be difficult for him to accept that these are great moments. How was it for you? Yeah, it was a strange day. getting going. Um, I think I like to blame myself as there took all the attention off the players and we just couldn't get going. We've done that for 15 years. <laughs> it seemed like that a message came through after about 65 minutes. And break off, go for it. Yeah, I mean, you know, I played the whole role for the first part of the game, but credit to Crystal Palace, they stifled all of us and towards the end, we, we you know, we tried to, we, we gambled and went for it and unfortunately we got caught again and Played this to Crystal Palace, they're the better team today. What does all this mean to you? What do these people mean to you, Stephen? I've said that all week, you know, they're the most important people. Of, they've backed me for 17 years, so what can I say? I'm, I've run out of words to describe them. Have you dealt with this already? Has I've, it sunk in? What's happening to you? I've been preparing for it all week. I'll probably be on the diner tomorrow, but while it's here, I've got to enjoy it, you know. How difficult is it going to be for you, Stevie, from 16, 17, you've gone into the training ground every day, you've played here on a Saturday, your life is now going to change. How, how are you going to adapt to that? It's, it's not going to be the same. I mean, you know, you two can back me up here. You know, it's, it's incredible to play in front of these fans, and once that's taken away, you know, your life changes, but hopefully I can enter it before see for another couple of years and then hopefully come back one day. We, a few babies tonight? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Stephen, we know you're coming back. Are you going to be coming back and standing with us, talking here? Are you going to be back in a tracksuit on the sidelines or maybe back on loan playing for this club again? I don't think I'll come back on loan after today's performance. But, uh, <laughs> no, listen, I think I'm going to have to go away and reflect for a few years and see what's there for me in a couple of years, but hopefully I'll stay involved in the game because, like these two, you know, I've lived it for a long time and I love it. Quick word with the girls. What do you think of Daddy? He has tried really hard, hasn't he? Is he going to miss Liverpool, do you think? Yeah, a lot. I know he is. Go and say goodbye. Thank you so much. Well done. Well done, girls. And a fabulous show of respect, incidentally, because all the Liverpool players, I don't know if you could see, were lined up behind Stephen Gerrard there, waiting for him to do his interview with us. It's going to be hard for them as well. I mean, he's led this club for so long. And you can actually say it was hard for them as a team today. They were waiting for him to do something they, because they've got so much respect for him. That life's going to change for everybody at this club, the fans. And you're just hoping one day, and Jamie alluded it to it too earlier on, they've got to try and find the next Steven Gerrard. It's not going to be easy. Because I said before the game, people like him don't come along every day of the week. They come along every other generation, if you're lucky. And somehow, they've got to find the next one. When I signed for this club as a 17-year-old, there was McManaman, there was Fowler, then Jamie came into the team, there's Steven Gerrard. The homegrown players are what the fans love to see so much. That's why he's getting the ovation that he is. So they're going to have to work extremely hard to try and find the next Steven Gerrard. To be honest, I don't think you can. I don't think you can replace that. 
I think Man United is still looking for the next key. Arsenal is still looking for the next Vieira. You don't replace that. That doesn't mean you can't go on and, and be successful and, and do well. But something like that's a one-off. You have to maybe strengthen in other areas. But Jamie's right, what you're seeing today, they're still waiting for Steven Gerrard to do something when... At 35 years of age now, he's probably not capable of doing that like week in, week out like he was in the past. But other players now are going to step up to the metal. And a couple of those Crystal Palace uh, players wouldn't go amiss, I think, in this Liverpool team. Nice presentation, a golden boot from a very young fan. No, the Golden Samba, it's called. Golden Samba. Oh, I've, I've got one of them. <laughs> Tell us its significance. Well, uh, trainers are a big thing in Liverpool. Liverpool lads look wearing them. <laughs> and uh, rather than giving a player of the year trophy out the air, uh, you get the Adidas Samba and spray it like a golden boot. So the golden Samba. Only Liverpool. But they need, it, they need a symbol, don't they? Talking about replacing him in terms of personnel on the pitch, these fans have had yourself for 700-odd games, Steven Gerrard for the same length of time. There is going to be a huge vacuum there. There is, 